All new at 11 now, a breakthrough solution for baldness. It's a bold statement. But that's exactly what researchers say they're developing right now. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith investigates the science behind a potential cure for hair loss. You're definitely getting some hair loss in the crown area. When you don't look good, you don't have high self-confidence. It's a reality Brian Ziklis took years to accept. I've been thinning over the years, probably started around the age of 28, 27, 28. A Florida hairstylist for nearly two decades, he fears losing it on top could hurt his bottom line. If I can prove to them that it, that it actually works for me, then um, you know I definitely feel that it could be a great option for anybody. Like so many others, Ziglis is searching for a fix. U.S. consumers spend about $8 billion every year on treatments for hair loss. Researchers at Stemson Therapeutics in California are working on a new and unique solution. We're hoping that this will be the breakthrough to uh, cure baldness. It's a two-part process, turning stem cells into hair follicles, then placing those cells on a tiny mold. The mold helps transplant the cells into the skin, telling the hair which direction to grow. Once they're in the skin, the cells actually do what they're designed to do. Lots of question marks regarding that, and lots of research needs to be done. Dr. Roger Basson of Tampa Hair Restoration says he's hopeful, yet skeptical of the science. This is a form of cloning. Correct. It really is a form of cloning that they're trying to do by developing it in the lab. Human testing is years away as the company works on receiving FDA approval, but testing on mice has been successful. I tell my patients, you might be waiting decades until this actually becomes something that is mainstream and offered, even if it becomes mainstream and offered. In the meantime, Ziglis is now looking at other treatment options. When it comes down to something that is proven and going to work, I think um, you can't really put a dollar amount on what, how it's going to make you feel and the self-esteem that you could get from it over the years. Eventually, they say the cost of those new cells will be similar to the cost of hair transplant surgery now, which can run upwards of $10,000. Ryan Smith, ABC Action News.